Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. My name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and check out some of my other tutorials. And if you like what you see, you can check what the subscribe button below any of my videos to become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to check the bell icon as well. So today I don't have an upcycling tutorial or really a review for an upcycled idea, but if you've seen some of my other videos, you may be aware that we have four dogs and they're all laying around in the living room here and probably about to make a whole lot of noise. Um, but I've been really curious about this product. It's called Fur Zapper and it's supposed to, you know, help your laundry uh, knock off all of the hair, the dog hair. And so it, you put it in the washer and the dryer, I believe, and it's supposed to alleviate a lot of the hair problems. Now, I don't have, you would think that I, we have hair everywhere, which we do, but I don't really, uh, it doesn't stick to our clothing and stuff through the washer and dryer, but the dog beds just will not come clean. I vacuum them, I wash them. I cannot get the dog hair off of the dog beds. So I'm gonna test this product out on the dog beds and see how it works. One more thing I always forget to mention, this is just my opinions. This isn't a sponsored video, so, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. So um, I've read some reviews. Some of them have said it's not a good product. It doesn't work. Other people said it was good. So I'm gonna give it a try and just give you my honest opinion. So here's a look at our filthy dog beds. The hair seems to show up a lot worse on the gray bed than the other bed, but even when I vacuum them off, the hair is stuck to the beds. So I'm hopeful that this will help clean the beds in the washer and the dryer, but like I said, I'm not sure what to expect, so let's give it a try. So I've opened up the package and pulled one of the fur zappers out, and they are kind of floppy and sticky a little bit. Uh, one of the reviews that I read, somebody was complaining because they said the dog hair wasn't sticking to the, you know, they pulled this out and there wasn't any dog hair stuck to it. And while it is a little bit sticky, the impression that I get from reading the package is that it's intended to kind of loosen the hair from your clothing or whatever you're washing. And then it comes off of this and goes down the, the lint trap or whatever. So um, I don't think it's supposed to have a whole lot of hair stuck to it when it comes out of the washer or the dryer, but um, it is kind of weird and gummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try and we'll see what happens. So I'm not sure what this means, but you can see that both of the fur zappers are stuck or you know away from my dog bed at the bottom of the washer here so hopefully that just happened in the spin cycle but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the washer and see what it looks like so far so so far there is still quite a lot of hair left on here as you can see but I am hopeful I think more of the hair comes off in the dryer normally so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the dryer along with the fur zappers and see what happens so I'm gonna open the dryer and see what we got here. I did try to put the little fur zappers on two different sides. So I put one on the outside and one on the inside. But um, you can see that not all of the hair is off of here, but it looks pretty good. I would say it looks a lot better. This side might not be quite as good. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's still some hair on here. Um, I think it looks better than when I washed it without these two things, but let me pull it out and take a closer look. So here's what the fur zappers looked like when they came out of the dryer. There is quite a bit of hair actually stuck to this yellow one. The green one, not so much. Uh, and the dog bed does still have quite a lot of hair on it. So... It definitely looks better. I think maybe I'm gonna wash the fur or the yeah the fur zappers off and let this dry a little bit longer just to see what happens. All right, so I have dried this bed probably twice as long as I normally would. However, I do think that I'm kind of standing in the light here. Sorry, 
I do think that it's gotten off more hair than just normal washing. Now maybe if I just left the thing in the dryer without these for a lot longer, it would also work. But you can see there is some hair stuck to these two fur zappers. And there is still some hair on the bed, but it is a, a whole lot better. So I'm gonna flip it over because the one side was worse than the other. So let me look at the other side here. There's still a lot more hair on this side, so I don't know. I, my, I think the jury's kind of out on these. I probably will use them with the dog beds just because I think they help a little bit. And I mean, they're certainly not hurting. I will say the one thing was that it was kind of icky to wash them off. You know, you don't want the hair going down the, your sink drain, but you need a lot of water to rinse them off, so um, you need something to catch the hair. Anyway, um, if you were expecting it to get all of the hair off, I certainly wouldn't recommend these, but like I said, the big question for me is whether I think I'm going to actually use them. And the answer is yes. I think when I'm washing the dog beds, I will go ahead and use these. It, it also says that you're not supposed to use uh, dryer sheets or anything, which you don't need uh, when you're washing dog beds, or at least I don't think you need them. So um, you can see there's still plenty of hair on these, but like I said, I think, I don't know, I'm going to give them about a three and a half and of five stars. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I apologize for not having an upcycling video, but you know I have a lot of dogs and I'm always on the prowl for things that help keep your house cleaner when you have a lot of pet hair. Anyway, I hope to see you soon back here in the lab.